Okay, so like, I didn't even know I'd be making this video, but whatever. So, uh, I also apologize for my uh, voice. My, my nose is a bit stuff right now. So like, the main reason that I do not make free-to-play videos, like free-to-play oriented videos, is like, it's literally because free-to-play progression is so slow these days. Like, there's really, to me, at least, there's not much to make a video on. Like, I don't see a point in really making a video about free-to-play. When free to play haven't had like a build change in maybe a year because look this is my free to play build from a year ago and it it's still re relatively relevant now like everything i have now people still use the only difference that i would change in my cards is like i would change gadget or something like that for meloetas and nebulas but like it's relatively it's relatively still relevant like it's not like you're changing these two cards. Like, these are the same cards unless you got Bloodwing. My assist cards, I quit before, like, all the new the new um, R4s came out and R5s, really. I So I didn't get all those. But, like, you just run Grey, Kitty, Dexter, Metal Guard. Like, it's, it's the same stuff. And, like, Pearls, what is it? Three Nymphas. Three Black Cats. Three Bath Familiars. Like... Free to play, there's not much for me to see like anything worth making a video on. But like, if you guys have some free to play videos that you want me to make, then just tell me to tell me what you want and I'll make it. But like, I personally, from my perspective, I just didn't see like any point to making like free to play oriented, like super free to play oriented videos, like for free to plays only, because the way I see it is like free to plays don't have much to improve on outside of like your daily your daily to weekly progression like glory front and, and misty and stuff like that because as you can see here my free to play from literally like a year ago with no upgrades from you like for like a year is still relatively build wise the same except like it's a little behind like yeah i get that but you know what i mean and then like i'm just not sure what a free to play is like asking for at this point because to me i've seen like a steady progression of like the same like new content features whales like it's more oriented to whales like the new so the new soul pearl thing is very like it's very self-explanatory as i see it like it's all going to go the same way every field play is going to literally have the exact same thing because everyone's going to have like the same gold pearls and like eventually all free to plays will be equal on this thing like it's nothing gonna be game breaking or nothing gonna be super changing especially because there's only two types of pearls it's just kubinashi and then like there's a gold pearl and the red pearl and there's only one right now so there's no difference in that and guardians they're, there's literally the same guardians from like a year ago i just the warm mount you have like you're mecking your dragon that you just upgrade a little bit and that's all you're doing but like they're not changing your mech your mech and dragon don't have insane build or anything like that it's just like what is there to make a video on that's how i see it and that's the reason like in my pve tier list i focused on dps for the reason of the way i see it in pve survivability is how much damage you deal because in zone 18 if your team deals enough damage you can skip mechanics or you can get all the mechanics fast enough because when my teams lack damage we end up taking more um more hits than the priest can bathe the same thing for like apoc 8 and apoc 9 if you don't if you don't destroy the orbs or the pillars in, in enough time then you insta die like there's nothing you can do about it that's why my pve tier list video is, is centered around that plus like every class has similar survivability at this point but like melee and magical separation wise like melee classes will have usually less survivability than um magical classes because they're up close and a lot of the bosses have tight rings around them like in apoc 8 she has her ring around her after the the second phase of her and then in apoc 9 Orochi has his bubble his little bubble rings around him and stuff like that which is why magical classes automatically have higher survival rate because they can attack from like a, a, a farther range which is why i don't see much difference in survivability although pyro when you have awakens has like the most shields in the game so they're they are the tankiest class technically like survivability wise because they have a self heal if you use blink and they can attack from a range they have a lot of shields and like 
that's really all that I see as is. And then Priest, because Priest is just the best class in the game. Like, no competition. But, like, if you guys really want to see free-to-play videos, then message me, or, like, just tell me, or comment, or something, and I'll make free-to-play videos for people. But, like, I just didn't make them mainly because I saw no point in me making them when there wasn't going to be a difference. Like, a lot of the free-to-play videos that I watch are, like, the same things over and over and over again. Like, you're just watching the same video, just with a different person making it. But, yeah, I guess that's my little ranter explanation as to why my videos are, like, how they are. But, like, I did do a free-to-play build, like, a year ago, and then I did, like, the, the glove card build and stuff, like, so, it's not like I don't know about free-to-play. I take an account in free-to-play, like, a lot. But, for, like, something like PvE, if you're at a free-to-play level and you're doing, like, APOC 8 and Zode 18, you should be doing that, as, as I see it. Like, that's just how it is right now. But, like, if you're a free-to-play trying to focus on survivability in APOC 9, I don't see that as realistic, because free-to-plays shouldn't be doing APOC 9 currently. Like, a full team of free-to-play cannot beat APOC 9. Because even full teams of, like, dolphins sometimes can't beat it. That's how I see it as, at least. So, that's my explanation. And I'm s I am didn't even think I'd be making this video. This is no script, nothing. I'm just talking off the top of my head. As how I see things because someone commented on my last video talking about I'm not taking into consideration free to plays, but like the PVE tier list video is just different because I just I see DPS as survivability in PVE and that is my opinion and my perspective. I'm not saying everyone has to agree with me, like you don't have to agree with me because everyone has their own opinions, but that's how I see it. Thank you.